Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Smart K3 Dentistry. Uh, today in this video I will be discussing about uh, necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. So acute gingival infections consist of necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis and uh, primary herpetic gingival stomatitis. And third one, pericoronitis. So these are the acute gingival infections, necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis, uh, primary herpetic gingival stomatitis and uh, pericoronitis. But in this video I will be discussing about uh, necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. So let's uh, start this uh, uh, necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. So it is basically a microbial disease. So it is microbial disease in which host response is decreased. Decrease host response. Uh, it is uh, characterized by uh, death of gingival tissue. And uh, patient complaints of the following clinical features are Sudden onset, sometimes after a disease uh, such as deliberating disease such as respiratory tract infections, respiratory tract infections and uh, in case of uh, decreased in nutrition. The VECO use. and our stress so tobacco use and uh, stress and decreased nutrition patient will tell you in the history and other um, oral signs and symptoms are basically it looks like a punched out rather like depressions at the crest of interdental papilla I have a picture showing exactly a crater you can see right here arrow is pointing towards it that uh, this is a punched out appearance of gingiva at the crest of interdental papilla. This crater is also you know covered with uh, pseudo membrane linear erythema and uh, there is also gingival hemorrhage even on little stimulation there is increase in salivation and the destruction of the gingiva sometimes uh, it can occur on the soft palate so this is a picture showing a pseudomembranous papilla between mandibular canine and lateral incisor is covered by grayish white pseudomembrane. And in this picture, a typical punched out appearance of papilla is visible with hemorrhage. You can see there's a redness uh, of hemorrhage. So these were the clinical features of necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. Now we come to the sign and symptoms. Sign and symptoms. So patient who is uh, affected with the necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis, they are very sensitive to touch. You know, ginger, their gingiva is so sensitive, so they uh, feel pain on touch. So, uh, so pain is radiating. Continuous. 
and it pen uh, aggregates on eating. There is also fall test increase saliva lymphadenopathy fever insomnia and GI disorders these were the signs and symptoms of uh, uh, necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis that is sensitive to touch radiating uh, continuous pain uh, which aggravates on eating foul test and uh, increased saliva lymphadenopathy fever insomnia gi disorders so in out of these signs and symptoms the lymphadenopathy fever insomnia and gi disorders are such symptoms which are extra oral so clinical course how it progresses if it is untreated If necrotizing ulcerative gingiva, gingivitis is untreated, it can lead to destruction of periodontium. And then it can even progress to uh, gingival recession. And systemic complications so let's talk about its diagnosis so its diagnosis is based on clinical findings such as pain ulceration and bleeding and the microscopic examination and such as biopsy and um, these are the some findings which are required for the uh, diagnosis of necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. So now we should talk about the treatment. Treatment of uh, necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis is just we have to in decrease the microbial load. Removal of necrotic tissue. I'm showing this sign for the removal. Correction of uh, systemic condition Scaling and root learning So scaling recommended for necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis is supragingival scaling and uh, uh, also, it is recommended to use chlorhexidine mouthwash for two weeks, two to three weeks. So, gingivectomy and gingivoplasty are for the Contouring of the gingiva. So this, these were the treatment options for acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. Hope you guys uh, understood the lecture about necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. I will be making uh, different videos for the um, other types of uh, acute gingival infections such as primary uh, herpetic gingival stomatitis and pericoronitis. Today's lecture was about necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis. And that's all for this video if you have any questions leave them in the comment section 
subscribe uh, this channel for more lectures like this. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.